Today, we're going to learn all about the Arctic fox. Isn't it just a regular fox? What? No! It, you heard her! She said it's an Arctic fox! Completely different than a regular fox! I mean, it is a fox, but it's an Arctic fox! And that's what this video is all about! But before we do, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Ready to learn all about the Arctic fox? Well then, let's go! Imagine that you are an Arctic fox that spends every day in temperatures below freezing and you're constantly being pushed and pulled by strong freezing wind gusts. What would you do to stay warm? Well, fortunately, these little foxes have some helpful adaptations for life and living in the frigid Arctic weather. By having dense fur, a thick coating of fat, and a compact body, the Arctic fox can maintain heat in temperatures as low as negative 58 degrees in the Arctic tundra. The Arctic fox dense fur coat maintains a body temperature of 104 degrees. And their long fluffy tails serve as a blanket that keep the foxes warm when they wrap them around their bodies to sleep. Plus, they have fur on the bottoms of their feet. This allows them to trap heat and prevent them from slipping on the ice. Don't you have fur on the bottom of your feet? No. Oh, those are socks. Yeah. I know socks very well. <laughs> <laughs> and Arctic foxes also have short muzzles and ears. Arctic foxes' white fur makes it more difficult for predators like wolves, polar bears, and even golden eagles to find them inside of the ice and snow. And adult Arctic foxes are about two feet long, less than one foot tall, and they weigh up to 20 pounds. This is about the size of a large domestic cat. So these things are bigger than me. Yeah. Because I'm like the size of a small domestic sock monkey. <laughs> <laughs> what? The average lifespan of an Arctic fox in the wild is between three and six years, but they can live as long as 10. The Arctic fox adjusts to warmer temperatures during the warmer summer months. Their dense white fur becomes thinner and actually turns grayish brown or even blue in order to blend in with the snow-free environment. When not trying to keep warm or avoid predators, an arctic fox is on the lookout for food. Like your dad waiting for pizza to be delivered! <laughs> and arctic foxes are carnivores. This means that they are meat eaters. The arctic fox's excellent sense of smell helps it to find its prey buried beneath the snow. He's just bragging. It must be nice to have a nose. <laughs> and when hunting, an arctic fox will dive head first into the snow to eat lemmings, which are small rodents that arctic foxes love to eat. When finding food is tough, an arctic fox will eat anything they can find, including insects, fruits, and even animal droppings. And sometimes an arctic fox will even follow a polar bear on a hunting trip and eat the bear's leftovers. An arctic fox can dig a snow home and hibernate for up to two weeks if it is unable to find food or if the weather is extremely harsh. Wait! A snow home? Yeah. That sounds cool! What is it? It's a snow home. Oh! Now we all know! <laughs> when seeking shelter, arctic foxes will construct a den out of the ground or snow that actually has several different entrances. And this is because the male arctic fox and its family must be able to flee quickly if they meet any potential predators. And hey, guess what? Throughout the year, arctic foxes move their den because they have to travel to hunt for food. Arctic foxes choose dens that face the sun so that the interior of their living space is warm. 
And typical areas that the Arctic fox live include Alaska, Canada, and Greenland. And they can also be found in Iceland, Asia, and Europe. Normally, a family of Arctic foxes consists of one male and two females. One of the females gives birth to the litter, while the other female helps care for and raise the young. A young Arctic fox is known as a kit, not a cub. Imagine that an Arctic lion was called a cat. Then you would have a kit cat. Baby Arctic animal. No? Okay. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about Arctic foxes. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye.